In addition to being extremely chill, Marcus Aurelius proves to be one of the best and most effective Roman emperors ever. Raised up and trained by stoic teachers, Marcus developed a strong and level-headed character. Growing from his inner strength, guided by his wise, compassionate, and logical views about the people around him. His wisdom was recorded in his famous Book of Meditations, a personal journal he wrote for himself as a reminder of the knowledge he learned from his peers, loved ones and mentors, and the stoic outlook in life which he has developed through his experience in court and in the battlefield. In many ways, we can benefit from Marcus Aurelius' philosophy as we apply them in our life. How to be chill 1. Accept the fact that people can be toxic. It do be like that sometimes. Try not to be affected too much. Say to yourself first thing in the morning, Today, I shall meet people who are meddling, ungrateful, aggressive, treacherous, malicious, and social. All this has afflicted them through the ignorance of true good and evil. Ruling over 50 million people as the strongest man in one of the greatest empires this world has ever seen, Marcus has faced challenges, betrayals, calamities, and wars all throughout his reign as emperor. The man basically was living a life straight out of Game of Thrones, dealing with dudes like this on a regular basis. Despite that, he did not lose control of himself and remained steadfast and effective upon dealing with these problems. This is because he understood the importance of self-control and being slow to anger. He does not let the toxicity of people affect his mindset. When someone does you wrong, do not judge things as he interprets them or would like you to interpret them. Just see them as they are. In plain truth, the best revenge is not to be like your enemy. 2. Accept the fact that you can't control everything. You can only control the way you see things. First, that things cannot touch your mind. They're external and inert. Anxieties can only come from your internal judgment. Second, that all these things you see will change almost as you look at them, and then will be no more. Marcus Aurelius understood that life can be metal. His strongest general rebelled against him. His wife probably cheated on him, and he had to deal with a bloody war in the borders of the Roman Empire while his health was deteriorating. They the only way he could cope with everything is by calibrating his mind to be zen about all that's going on and in knowing that these unfortunate events can only have the power to affect people if they allow them to. Remove the judgment and you have removed the thought, I am hurt. Remove the thought, I am hurt and the hurt itself is removed. In order to achieve this level of mental clarity, the advice is to look inward and meditate upon the doctrines we have learned and the wisdom we have accumulated. No retreat offers someone more quiet and relaxation than that into his own mind especially if he can dip into thoughts there which put him at immediate and complete ease. And by ease, I simply mean a well-ordered life. The doctrines you will visit there should be few and fundamental, sufficient at one meeting to wash away all your pain and send you back free of resentment at what you must rejoin. Number 3. Don't seek praise, be humble, and mind your own business. Because it is not right that the rational and social good should be rivaled by anything of a different order. For example, the praise of many, or power, or wealth, or the enjoyment of pleasure. All these things may see to suit for a little while, but they can suddenly take control and carry you away. Marcus Aurelius understood how small people are in the midst of the cosmos. In the grand scheme of things, getting praise and all other superficial things are not that important. Look at the speed of universal oblivion, the gulf of immeasurable time, both before and after, the vacuity of applause, the indiscriminate fickleness of your apparent supporters, the tiny room in which all this is confined. The whole earth is a mere point in space. What a minute cranny within this is your own habitation, and how many, and what sort will sing your praises here. In our life, especially at school and work, many of us work hard to get the approval of others. Unfortunately, some of us lose sight of what's really important and gets crushed by the pressure of being liked or accepted so much that we do things we shouldn't be doing. Everything in any way beautiful has its beauty of itself inherent and self-sufficient. Praise is no part of it. Does an emerald lose its quality if it is not praised? We should not be easily affected by other people's perception of us, but rather, we must understand the beauty of our own worth. Number 4. Accept the fact that we are all gonna die. Nothing is permanent, even your sufferings on earth. In any case, remember that in a very brief time, both you and he will be dead. And shortly after, not even your names will be left. Marcus talks about the idea that all our struggles, problems, and anxieties in life are all just temporary. And that we are just a small fleck of dust in the whole universe. We only live for a short period in the huge gulf of time and in the infinity ahead. So we shouldn't be overcome by the worries we encounter, but instead, Focus on what's truly important. It is in doing our duty for our fellow men, playing our part in the web of life. If you are doing your proper duty, let it not matter to you whether you are cold or warm, whether you are sleepy or well slept, whether men speak badly or well of you, even whether you are on the point of death 
or doing something else. You should meditate often on the connection of all things in the universe and their relationship to each other. In a way, all things are interwoven and therefore have a family feeling for each other. One thing follows another in due order, through the tension of movement, the common spirit inspiring them, and the unity of all being. Fit yourself for the matters which have fallen to your lot, and love these people among whom destiny has cast you. But your love must be genuine. Meditations Book 6 Verses 2, 38, and 39 Marcus Aurelius, probably the chillest Roman emperor ever, did not let emotions get the better of him, but rather accepted things as they were. If we learn from his ideas, we too could be more resilient, steadfast, humble, and compassionate to others as we encounter different trials as we all try to look for our purpose in life and our place in the universe.